Yeah, me, it's grim. Uh, kidnapped me car, I've blindfolded it and I've drove it somewhere. <laughs> uh, we are at Fontburn Reservoir. I'm saying we, I'm the only knacker here. Uh, just pulled up, so messy van. Yeah, messy. One a reservoir, a reservoir of font. Uh, can't believe I'm the only one in the car park. How are you? Let's get in. Oh, we're ensconced. Ooh. The weather is absolutely atrocious. It was either come out or stay home. And then it was either come out with a vehicle or with a tent. I don't want a clotty, boggy, shitey mess of a hike uh, up to somewhere where I'm going to get no view for the clag. I don't want that. What's the point? I've got this little palace here. Uh, and I do like a night out a week, you know that with me. Uh, at least one night out a week. Uh, so it's going to be a van night where we're... I'll, I'll bring you along, see what happens, uh, and then hopefully it'll be a little bit more nice out tomorrow. Maybe get the TFM up and get some nice shots of the uh, from being Reservoir, as long as it won't piss the, fish, the fishermen off. <laughs> oh man, got all my warm stuff. Got my heated socks. My heated socks don't work, I've got my heated insoles. Oh, oh and I'm just going to sit and... Just chill and relax, put some tunes on, uh, make yourself something nice to eat later. And I'll have a couple of beers, goes without saying, it's me day off. Little D, little D, yeah, little DVS reporting from Lingo. And can I just say, the last couple of videos, uh, YouTube are doing things differently regarding adverts. Uh, and I just clicked, yes, just just do it, YouTube, yeah. Uh, I didn't realise we're putting as many adverts in, I can manually take them out, which I have been doing. Uh, but for anyone that's uh, watched the last couple of videos and thought, Christ on how uh, it's too many adverts, I, I wholeheartedly agree with you. I do apologise. I didn't realise. Uh, I only realised on the last video when I was checking something through. Uh, and then I got me 2,000 subs. Yes, I got me 2K subs. I would like a, a big, massive shout out for uh, uh, Jimmy, uh, Lundy's Bushcraft Stroke Whale Camp. Uh, Jimmy, you're an absolute legend. You've pushed us over the, you pushed us over the uh, the finish line there. Uh, uh, oh man, I was chuffed a bit. Uh, thank you, everyone that's uh, subbed, uh, that's liked, uh, that's commented, that's just watched. Uh, thank you ever so much. It, it's taken us, it's taken us, it's taken us ages. Uh, but I'm there, so I'm, I'm chuffed a bit. Uh, thank you, and if you're new and you're watching them, hey, hiya, uh, welcome aboard. We're a canny little squad on here. Uh, so yeah, got me two two K subs. I've lost my train of thought there now. Uh, I've totally lost my train of thought. I'll get me little. I'll get me little self off. So yeah, oh, I little. Uh, oh, I, the advert. Yeah, uh, I, I do apologise about the adverts. I'm gonna I'll try and keep it uh, just for it to have a couple in. If it's a long video, I'll have two in there. Uh, one at the begin, one at the end. Uh, and maybe you know a couple in the middle. Uh, YouTube was wanting us to have about eight in. It's like no, I'm not doing that. You guys, I will, will apologise. Uh, so I uh, ap apologies for that. Right, I'm going to shut up and get off, and not I'll see you in a little bit when I get me uh, me little pit tidied up. Two K, yes. Wow. Well, I've been a little bit quiet tonight. I've just been doing a bit of colouring in. 
because it's the only time I colour in and I like colouring in. Yeah, such a wild child here. <laughs> colouring in, hiding in a car away from the weather, scared to go out with a tent, eh? playing with our sharpies and colouring in. Uh, but it's our time of night where really me <laughs> me having a couple of beer reviews. Uh, so let's get it done. What have we got? That. Now I've had this before but I can't remember what it, what it was like and I can't remember if, if I reviewed it. I've got my lush new cup there. Look at that. It's a chalice. I've got my chalice there. I can take that off. You know, really cool with a lighter. Uh, but I'm not going to you know, show you how cool I actually am. It's a bit disappointing, wasn't it? Smells like toffee apples, mind. Literally smells like toffee apples. Oh, it does mean it's got that nice toffee apple smell to it. What is it? It's a Brothers. Yeah, it's a Brothers. So it's got the nice toffee apple smell there. Yeah. Quite a big bottle as well, isn't it? Eh? Look at my little hand against the bottle. Quite a big bottle there. Let's pour it out. Let's see what, uh, see what colours we're getting from it. Now you'll see how fast I neck it. <laughs> now you'll see how fast I neck a cider down. It's all right when it's in there. You can't really tell. You're like, gosh, just taking sips. Eh? <laughs> you know I'm not. Eh? That is toffee apple through and through. So we dip in. It's very sweet. Like a toffee apple. It's not going to be as bad on your teeth as a toffee apple. It's not going to, you know, you're not going to like stick, you know, get a tooth stuck in it. It is very sweet, only a 4%. I'll polish that one off. It's better with the nasty beers, isn't it? Yeah, I get more love for the nasty beers. The nasty beers and the beers that, you know, that, 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 that bring memories. Uh, I mean, this. I'm not getting... It's all right, you know, I'm going to drink it. Certainly nothing for the review, really. Uh, so, yes, the brothers uh, with our toffee apple. Very drinkable. It's really boring. <laughs> really boring, it's really boring. I'll just, I'll, just, I'll, just turn the, I'll just turn this off. It's not turning off. No pulse in me little hand. Right, that's the kettle on for tea and the van heating up nicely, but I'll be honest, it's not that cold outside. That's the little star of the show there. I popped into uh, the the charity shop at Rothbury looking for a candle holder because I knew I'd brought some uh, some tea lights out with us. Now that was a pound. So yeah, I've got one of them slightly bigger tea lights in there. And that's going to put a couple of degrees on the on the uh, temperature of the van. As soon as you boil a kettle, it's, it's like a sauna in here. It's lovely. Finishing off the last me peeve. Sit on top of my toilet there to see the inner workings. <laughs> I'm unsure what to have for tea. I've got the kettle boiled. It's either going to be mash. Uh, I've done a cottage pie thing. And all I'm thinking of is then I'm going to have like washing up to do. I'm going to have two pans uh, and washing up. It's half past ten. So I may just bother, I may just bother pot noodle on. Uh, and just chuck, you know, rinse it out and chuck it in the bag and recycle it when I get home. <sighs> right. Uh, been a bit of a boring one this. I'll be honest, I've just, I've just enjoyed the, just sitting back, chilling and relaxing. That's what I came out for. I didn't, you know, I could have stayed in, I could have stayed at home. Uh, but I just wanted to come out and just relax. Uh, so hopefully up there, weather will be a bit better tomorrow. You literally, you can't see a couple of metres outside the van door. It's, it's that cloggy. Uh, fingers crossed it'll not be too bad tomorrow. Maybe he's got some nice TFM shots of the reservoir. Uh, I'll probably be taking a walk around the reservoir. Uh, which sounds really middle-aged and boring, but it's what we do, isn't it? <laughs> oh, a, that, that's just what we do. It's what we do. Uh, Right, I'm gonna. I I think it's looking like a sweet and sour pot noodle. <laughs> I catch us the morrow, yeah. Good night.
Once had one's first couple of the morning. Crank the windows up open slightly to get rid of the old condent. That's good here. Slightly better, but still fairly grim. I think we'll get the TFM up a little bit. So I'll probably walk. What is the point of driving 30 miles to come out somewhere nice on a glorious day, sit in the back of your car all night and drive home the next day? Now no Donna, I don't care what you've got to do in the house, eh? you only get so many days on planet earth for to be outside. So how are we? Let's get a little hike in. Nice for to not have a big handbag on as well sometimes. Ah, right. Ooh, it's a little bit squelchy underfoot. There we go. That's this seam. <laughs> this se this season's in colours. They're brown. Brown. And fawn. <laughs> I couldn't think of any other names for brown there. So I will see if, uh, if I can't walk round. Nice little fishing spot here. It does get teeming with fishermen, especially over the weekend. Right, so that is as far as you can go that way. Yep, I saw no further that way. Uh, this is where the uh, limit of the fishing on the bank is. Uh, and that's uh, because the bank is a really uh, important nature reserve. Uh, Fonfern Reservoir, I don't know much about it, I just know that it's a drinking water reservoir. Obviously you don't want to be dipping your lips straight in there, do you? Uh, but yeah, it's a drinking water reservoir uh, and it was uh, built, constructed in 1905. <laughs> there you go. You're yeah, more than welcome. I can be dipping your lips in there. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see what's up. Yeah. That's so a ten or an eight to park. Uh, pay built in pound coins in the machines. If not, then you pay it online. Uh, if not, uh, you pay it at the hut. Oh well, I'm on that that big uh, circular the, the the draining thing. That is apparently called a spillway plug hole. Yeah. Oh, and there's one at Lady Bower that I that mean Junior went to, gosh, years ago. Literally years ago, he was only little. Uh, so yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a couple of them around yeah, and it just lowers the level of the reservoir uh, and uh, drips it off into, or drips, uh, funnels those tunnels, funnels and tunnels. It often, when you're by river, uh, when the, the levels get too high. I might give it up, to be honest, it's starting to turn into a segment out of it to knock out. So it's very indistinct. Uh, and there's another path up there, but I'm sure that just takes you 
up under the up under the moors and I didn't want to really go on the moors because it's sopping wet uh, and I was just out for a walk around the reservoir which it said you could do yeah, it has been been all good following instructions Got a nice forest walk yeah, what happens uh, storms the wrath of God and everything goes Tell me this is a public right of way, hold on. <sighs> I think we'll do a tactical retreat, I can't I literally can't be bothered. Uh, I'm maybe getting another hundred metres, it might be just by can't be bothered with it. I was expecting a bit more of a better path. Completely complete and I'll be doing a strongly worded email somewhere. It's a lovely place, so it really is. I just like being in the in the woods and that and in the forest and a bit of firmness underfoot. Looking over, you know, you bugger. Ah uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be absolutely sopping on the moors. Uh, so, back to van, I think I've done what, a mile and a half? I'll still get a couple of miles in. Right. Uh, DVS reporting from, probably the nature reserve, I don't even know if I'm supposed to be here. Uh, wherever, uh, DVS reporting from, Fontaine Reservoir. Never say never. We're on to the other side of the fence. Oh, but it's just SHIT, look at that man. And there's another one. That one there, then there'll be another one, and another one. So, uh, the Riverside Walk today has kicked my ass. <laughs> one hasn't. Right, a confusing place because there you go, eh? Footpath, way! Boardwalk, mostly safe, yes! Woohoo! And you get to that little sign down there that says Nature Reserve, footpath, heads yonder. And we're headed yonder, and there was no footpath there, it was a boggy, clotty, cra crappy mess filled with cattle cows, but over this side, yeah, nice signage, boardwalks, bit of a track, handrails, it's got the lot, quite literally like the phoenix of woodland walks, and then all of a sudden, that's it, you dropped off it there, uh, you dropped off it little in Baker, <laughs> you'll have to fend for yourself. Oh, oh, look, someone's left some sticks here. Oh, they're nice and warm. <laughs> I'll have them. They're mine. Actually, they are mine. So it's a bit of a peculiar walk. They shouldn't really advertise it as a circular uh, when all of a sudden it turns into the blinking farm dance. Uh, when, you get the, when you get the nature reserve, you've got to fend for yourself. <laughs> right, talking of fending for myself. That is yonder way forward. And I'll see you back at car. Tell you what, mind, at least I've got them shoes on. They are grippy as anything. I've got feet like a spider man. I'm heading back to the car, that is some type of lodge you can rent out. Uh, last time I was up this way for a van night, there was a big group of lads in there. Might be interesting to check out how much it costs. If it was a, if it was a few of you, I'd be quite neat that. So, uh, I'm just past the blue car. Excuse the wobbly camera work. That is the clag of Simon Side. 
and that is me saying a ta for this one thanks for tuning in uh, again a massive shout out for jimmy uh uh, Jimmy uh, Lundy's Wild Camp Stroke Bushcraft. I'll stick a link down here if any of you guys haven't got a sub on them. Uh, please pop over, tell them Don I sent you. <laughs> uh, it, it got a, a cracking good channel. Uh, he puts out some uh, good length videos. So if you, you know if you want to immerse yourself in something, uh, and he did a lot of a lot of bushcraft uh, in the woods, uh, in the forests. Uh, does a bit of hill camping, uh, but this time of year, hey, he likes a he likes a, a forest a forest pitch. A bit of bushcraft uh, and a fire uh, and his mate Rooney as well. I got me me little uh, me little horse back with the lingo. Start her up and get back to Forest Hall. Uh, but for now, that's it. One. Uh, we'll make sure there's not that many adverts on here. And again, I do apologise about that. Uh, but I'll see you on the next one. Hopefully, out in the tent next week. How we? What's what's the point? When are you going to be hiking up in thick clag? And then plus, I had the car in the garage yesterday, so I didn't get started till like one o'clock. Uh, got my MOT next Thursday, uh, wishes luck, so I'll not have a, an early start next Thursday either. Uh, I'll try and, uh, you know, plan some uh, weather, weather-wise, weather recording. Right, uh, <laughs> ciao!